assembly rules of procedures and the IB package. The situation in Syria reflects a colossal failure to protect civilians. Day after day, children, women and men suffer the brutality of unbridled violence and gross human rights violations by all parties. The increasing number of foreign fighters crossing Syria's borders to support one side or the other is further fueling the sectarian violence and the situation is beginning to show worrying signs of destabilizing the region as a whole. Government forces and affiliated militias have reportedly carried out acts of collective punishment against civilian populations perceived to be sympathetic to the opposition. The reported massacres in Al Baida and Ras al Naba in Banyas, following similar mass killings in other parts of Syria, show a pattern of extreme acts of collective punishment. Arbitrary arrests and detention, as well as torture, ill treatment, and extrajudicial executions by government forces have continued unabated. Giving the floor to the High Commissioner. The flagrant dis uh, disregard of international law is not limited to the government side. Many anti-government armed groups are reportedly engaging in military operations within civilian populated areas. Some of these groups continue to carry out executions of captured members of pro-government forces and affiliated militias. The abduction of civilians by anti-government armed groups, as well as killings, violence, and threats of reprisals against civilian populations perceived to be supportive of the government are also believed to be escalating. Debates are based on the decision of the Council. I am deeply concerned about the safety of civilians still trapped in and around al Khazar, Intense shelling and clashes between government forces and supporting militias and anti-government armed groups have reportedly resulted in hundreds of civilian deaths and injuries. So the remind that urgent debates are organized. The solution must be pol political. It will not be military. Outside forces, including some states, are reported to be actively fueling the conflict by providing weapons and ammunition to one side or the other. This emboldens the belligerents. Excellencies, I would like to remind you that the list of speakers